Hey guys, this is Pure Mar Bones 88. And it's been a while since I've done for my top favorites for about maybe possibly two or three years. But since I'm back doing it again, so here I am going to discuss and my top favorites and which are my favorite top seven of Rick Baker's movie effects. The best top seven of all time. So Time to begin. Number seven, the 2010 remake, The Wolfman. Now, since Rick Baker has, has done so many great makeup effects, including now with this whole new kind of a reboot of The Wolfman ever since with the the older version back in the U Universal Monster it was time to reboot this kind of werewolf monster and how what Rick Baker did that he made this Wolfman so scarier more animalistic and even so with the makeup effect including the werewolf transformation it wasn't really that not like realistic or very well handed but it was still good and it was still practically job held it well done for him and even so they don't they couldn't try like uh, maybe puppeteering or maybe animal tronics to make a, a realistic transformation I mean, include they had the cgi's right there but even so the only thing that was really good were the the kills the violence the gore and even with the universal monster that most likely they were all pg-13 but instead for The Wolfman, it was rated R, and that's what I liked about this movie. Number 6. Ron Howard's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yes, it's not really a horror film, but still, Rip Baker did a great job on this makeup though, with all the actors and actresses become the Who's from Who'sville's, and let's not forget Jim Carrey to play none other than the heartless, the meanest, and the greenest, the Grinch. How Rick Baker made that, made that makeup to make the Grinch become so real, and Jim Carrey did a great job performing as the Grinch. They have done some so many makeup tests, especially with Jim Carrey, of trying to hide him as, with all the makeups that he's been wearing. I didn't even recognize him at first. And the voice as him, he did a terrific job as well. Holiday who be wanting? And once again, thanks to Rip Baker and the makeup and all, I think the Grinch was the best job that he ever done. This is my actually my fifth favorite to Rip Baker's makeup effects. Nice kid. Bad judge of character. Number five, Hellboy. Another movie that was based off on the Dark Horse comics, including with Ron Perlman playing as Hellboy, half man, half devil, fighting crime. He's the superhero of all time, and Rip Baker did some great terrific job of making that, making Hellboy so real, and the supernatural that was happening. And besides using CGI, they most likely used was animatronics or puppeteering. That's what, that's what it was all about. Just, Trying to break the balance of you know with um, using real life real life people and CGI of people like trying to balance it and that's how Rip Baker did and that was the great makeup effect because Rob Perlman did look like Hellboy from the comic book strips. I never really read Hellboy in the comic books, but I did see the movie and I sort of did start watching the animated movie. And now with this other reboot Hellboy that's going to happen. I hope this help, this new Hellboy is good, but still, the 2004 is still the best and the classic. Number 4. 1994, Jack Nicholson and Michelle Pfeiffer's Wolf. This was my childhood monster movie that I grew up on. And with um, the makeups that Rip Baker did to make Jack Nicholson becoming as this savage monster werewolf, it made him a little kind of modernizing. And when I say about modern, it means that they, his transformation of with Jack Nicholson playing as the Wolfman, it, they don't really we don't really see him transforming into this werewolf. It's just like we see him just he's already a werewolf, 
with the makeup on him, the eyes, the teeth, the, the hair, the facial hair that's happening. And the first thing he looked like a bit of Wolverine or like Old Man Logan. But kind of think of it that Wolf was practically a, a modern monster movie and that was practically that was a reboot to the 1930s or the, the original monster movie of Wolfman. But how what Ray Baker did that he kind of much used on um, Puppeteer of Jack Nicholson and of course with James Spader during the fighting scene between those two like fighting off head to head and you could definitely tell that it's not really them fighting each other off but it's like a quick thing that's happening like one scene is the real actors and the next actor is just puppeteer and next scene is just puppeteers of them but still I think the only best makeup that has ever been done in the end is just Jack Nicholson turning on to this fully on mega werewolf and tell you all this before I tell you what it is it's kind of a mini movie, but I'll just say it anyways. It kind of counts there. Number three, Michael Jackson's Thriller. Yes, it's not really a, a movie, but still, it's kind of a movie. It's a mini movie. It's a short film that Michael Jackson made, including with director John Landis that also directed, also directed An American Werewolf in London, Blues Brothers, and many more. Including he did show up a cameo in Psycho 4 the beginning. The music video of Michael Jackson Michael Jackson's throat and that Rip Baker, however, did show up as a cameo and play as one of the zombies. He didn't really dance, but he was a cameo right there. But most likely how he did the makeup of Michael Jackson of turning him like in the first half of the story that he becomes a werewolf and how they made the makeup on him, making him look almost like a giant monstrous cat version, but he's supposed to be really a werewolf. And then the second story is where is where both Mike and his girlfriend go on a walk and then all the zombies go after them and then all of a sudden he starts to become a zombie. And that point on, that was like so real and I was, at first the first half where Mike turned into a werewolf, I kind of got terrified right there. But when he turned into a zombie and when he started dancing with the other zombies, I was just feeling entertained by it. And this was also my favorite music video out of all the Michael Jackson songs. And it makes you feel like you just want to dance to the beat. Now, before I go any further, I had a little like trying to figure which one should have been number two and which one should have been number one. And kind of thing, I would say it would be a tie for this two, but I had to like choose. So here it comes, folks. And please don't judge me and don't criticize me if you guys don't like, don't agree with my list. So here it comes. Number two, An American Werewolf in London. So yes, it is my second favorite, my second werewolf favorite and Rick Baker's effects, especially where the werewolf transformation, that was right there. That was the other thing I forgot to mention in Michael Jackson's throw, the transformation. But however, An American Werewolf in London was directed by, once again, John Landis, but the makeup effect was Rick Baker, you can all thank him for that, where uh, David turned into this horrifying werewolf monster and the transformation looks so realistic and very terrifying. They didn't use like no, not much scary music, they just kind of use like modern music and the real world of what it's like to like just transform without terrifying music. And it was part horror, part comedy, and it was so funny and scary at the same time. And that's what I love about this movie. It was such a classic. A classic monster right there. And it was all thanks to Rip Baker. And this huge, huge transformation that everybody loved. Oh, be serious, would you? And number one. The ultimate. The Howling. This was the most horrifying 80s classic monster movie. And why is it? Well is because once again Rip Baker he made these werewolves like come into life and most likely we don't really see them too much walking around in fully on bodies I think however you could definitely see them is just either in stop motions or even close up but the only thing that would really terrify you and would never make you fall asleep is during that 
biggest transformation. And you thought the American world in London of David's transformation was scary? This one, this transformation is definitely quite farthest the craziest, scariest thing you'll ever see. A man turning into a werewolf in person. Even if he gets closer to you and starts to rip out your lungs and rip off your chest and all the blood and gore that's going to happen to you. That point on, that was the other transformation right there. The howling is number one. I'm sorry, American Werewolf of London. Well, so let me ask you all this. Do you agree with my list? Well, even so, it is my favorite. These are my top seven favorites. So let me ask you guys something to you all you horror fans. What are your top favorites of Rick Baker's makeup effects? Either if it's movies, TV shows, music videos, anything. If it's the same list or the same movies, then let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And this is PMR Bones 88 signing off. The saying is, Peace!